Consequences. Whoa, what's that mean? The Democratic challenger for her Florida House seat now taking it a step further, saying that video could be a demonstration of obstruction of justice. Tim Canova is Wasserman Schultz's 2018 Democratic primary point, uh, opponent, and he joins us live now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. We should point out that you are a law professor, so you yes. know the law. Why do you think that that could be a demonstration of obstruction of justice? Well, it's disappointing. She said it in the context of a subcommittee meeting on appropriations. Was she holding over, uh, over the Capitol Police Chief the fact that she's uh, involved in the appropriations process? You know, the whole thing is disappointing. You would hope that a congresswoman would want to cooperate with the police sure. and, and not to get in the way and demand equipment back. Well, it's a, it's a crazy situation, and people are familiar now. Her IT guy was busted. He was trying to flee the country to uh, Pakistan, mm -hmm. stopped at Dulles. I think he's already been charged with bank fraud. Yes. It's curious, though, when this guy was and his family were hired by other democratic members of congress as soon as it hit the fan that this guy had problems everybody fired him mm -hmm. except debbie wasserman schultz she waited until the day after he was actually arrested and he had already destroyed a couple of hard drives so mm -hmm. it seems like he was at least trying to hide evidence at the very least it shows a lot of poor judgment and i know the voters in my district they've been speaking with me uh folks are going to timcanova.com and that up and people are just tired of this it's one constant drama and scandal after another with her and she's a very divisive figure in the party the party needs to unify and the voters want to talk about the issues you know the issues haven't gone away sure. a lot of folks are having trouble paying their bills they're worried about health care and social security sure. and meanwhile their congresswoman is again in another scandal well this is a big district in an, uh, this is a big issue in another district we had uh, congressman ron DeSantis on earlier mm -hmm. and he made this observation about what's going on I think this is really curious as to why this individual would have been on the payroll. And it wasn't just him that was busted in February. He had family members. There were a couple friends. All these guys, although they really weren't qualified on the face, they made over $4 million from Democratic members of the House of Representatives since 2009. And of course, they had access to Intelligence Committee and House Foreign Affairs Committee members' personal uh, email and IT accounts. There's some very sensitive information on there. This could be a significant security breach. That's such a great point. Nobody's talking about that. What secrets were on those emails? Well, and Mr. Awan had access to dozens of congressional uh, offices, the, the IT for, mm -hmm. for those offices. And so, members who are on very high-ranking committees. And the allegations are that he was moving this information off-site. Was Debbie Wasserman Schultz aware of it or not? You know, when the story first broke, I felt uh, that she could have been a victim of all of this. Uh, but as it unfolded, you know, she waited a long time to fire this gentleman. Uh, she seems a little bit less like a victim, and people are asking a lot of questions. All right. Uh, Tim Canova.